Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today, we're going to take a look at the various backups that you can get with your various layers. So basically, if you purchase a layer, you should be able to find the appropriate backup in your, uh, in your layer dispenser. So even if I look, I won't be able to see it. But basically in here, you would see all my backups, but I have them all in my inventory, which is why you're not seeing them right there. So here you can see all the backups I have. So you have the backup for the ancient layer, the backup for the bunker, the backup for the cave layer, the eastern layer, the gothic layer, the hideout, the industrial layer, the modern layer, the penthouse layer, the sewer layer, and the tech layer. I don't have the special backups that you can get. Uh, basically, there's a Quardian uh, backup that you can get from the anti-monitor event. Uh, there is the Joker backup or the Riddler backup that you can get from uh, Riddle with Crimes. And there's also the Man Bat uh, Commando backup that you can get also from uh, Rid Riddle with Crimes. Uh, you can get the, the Man Bat backup from the Elite version of the raid, if I'm not mistaken. But today we're not going to take a look at those. We're only going to take a look at those you can get from the dispenser in your lair. And in order to be able to get access to those backup, you have to purchase the appropriate lair. So in order to be able to get access to the, the ancient backup, you have to purchase the ancient lair. It's pretty much that simple. And of course, the strength of your, of your backup is going to depend on uh, your mainframe. And also, in order to be able to have the backup, you have to purchase them from your from your mainframe. So basically, you have to purchase them. You have to purchase backup one. You have to purchase backup two, and you have to purchase the boost. Once you purchase backup one and backup two, that will remain forever. Sadly, the boost has to be paid every uh, 60 days, and it's uh, seven marks of victory if I remember correctly. So every 60 days, the game will ask you to pay seven marks of victory in order to be able to to give the boost to your backup. So by default, you have two backups. So if you purchase uh, backup one and backup two, you will summon two backups. If you purchase the boost, then you will summon three backups and your three backups will be a bit more powerful than if you only have backup two. So the boost does help uh, quite a bit. And also your backups, if you have uh, the boost, uh, your backups will be flying, which on certain maps is uh, quite useful, I can, I can tell you. Also, you have to purchase, uh, you have to activate your batteries on your, in your mainframe or generator. So you have to be sure that you have all three batteries. If you have only the first two batteries, it will only activate backup one and backup two. Uh, so in order to have the boost, you have to have all three batteries uh, activated to be able to, to, to have the boost. It's a bit annoying because every 60 days you have to pay the, the, the rent, you have to activate the, matter, the batteries with the rent with cash, and you have to pay marks of victory to activate the boost. So twice a month, at, the, at least, you have to come to the mainframe and you have to pay those, uh, those, those uh, rents. So here we're going to show each backup uh, and we're going to show them uh, in action fighting the training dummies or the sparring targets. Uh, the reason for that is quite simple. Uh, depending on the backup you have, they have different attacks and they will, they will attack the, the combat dummies not quite in the same way. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the ancient uh, backups that you get when purchasing the ancient lair. So let's get started. So basically what you summon with the ancient lair backups is three ancient statues. So let's start attacking. So you can see they have some sort of a range attack sometimes, but uh, as a rule of thumb, they seems to pretty, pretty much uh, attack in melee mostly. So I guess depending on the distance they have uh, versus the enemy, uh, they'll probably they seem to start attacking uh, with range attacks, and then they'll jump on the enemy, uh, fighting in melee. And he seems to be using a one-handed weapon. So that's it for the ancient uh, ancient statue. 
Okay, so the cooldown of our backup is over, so let's switch backups. There is quite a long uh, cooldown in between each, so let's go then for the backups we get when we have the bunker. So let's get started. Never used though, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to discover that together. So you can see it's someone's like uh, those three little soldiers. Uh, it seems to be pretty much the same attack as the uh, the same attack as the uh, ancient statues. And as you can see, depending on which target you attack, that's the target that your backup uh, will attack. So again, we're going, to, we're going to have to wait for the cooldown before we switch to uh, the, next, uh, the next set of backups. Okay, so our cooldown is uh, expired, so let's switch again. So the next one we're going to use is the, the cave uh, backup. Basically the backup you have when you have the cave layer. So let's get started. So as you can see, it's among these cute little uh, Batman robots. And these seems to attack with uh, end blasters attack. Switch target. So again, like most uh, backups, they will switch target depending on which target you attack. And sadly, now they're gone. So we're gonna have to wait again for the next uh, set of backup. So again, let's get a new set of backup. So the next one we're going to try is the uh, Eastern uh, backup. So the backup that comes with the Eastern layer. It summoned those sort of uh, ninja type uh, characters. You can see them with their nice uh, And they seem to be using uh, martial arts. You see that little guy throwing uh, his throwing stars? Actually, it seems to be a mixture. Uh, one seems to be using martial arts, one seems to be using uh, a staff. I don't use them uh, all that often, so I'm not sure if uh, it's always uh, two martial arts, one staff, or if there's a random effect where uh, it could be two staff and one martial art. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, if, you, if you guys ever give it a try, let me know uh, in the comment section down below. Okay, so again, thanks to the magic of editing, uh, we're done waiting. So let's switch for the next, uh, the next batch, which will be the gothic backup. Uh, it's been a long time. Don't remember which one of those. Uh, it's some sort of uh, bodyguards. And as you can see, these seems to be using uh, brawling attacks. took them a bit to switch target, but then again, uh, if, the gar if the target gets defeated, I'm pretty sure they would change uh, right away. 
but this being the sparring target, obviously, uh, you just cannot defeat them. And uh, let's wait for the next one. But again, for you guys, thanks to the magic of editing, it'll go by in a heartbeat. Okay, so let's try the next one, which will be the hideout one. So the hideout is uh, also the dive. I'm not sure why sometimes it's called the dive, sometimes it's called the hideout. Oh well. That happens. Sometimes there's a little in inconsistencies like that in certain games. So here you can see it's some kind of tough guy, almost like uh, from the 50s. And as you can see, they're using uh, a non mixture of rifle. Well, it seems to be rifle. So as you can see, unlike the other backups, they don't go into melee. So I guess I could see the use of using those backups uh, if, you, if you don't want the tank to feel uh, overwhelmed. And uh, once more, we wait for the next one. Okay, time to try the next one. So next we're going to use the industrial backup. I kind of like those. When I was uh, still Magneto, there were like tiny little sentinels that I could uh, summon. So as you can see, they're using uh, and blasters. So as you saw, they attacked uh, from range uh, a bit at first. And then they go into melee uh, as the fight goes uh, goes forward. Okay, let's try another one. So the next one will be the modern trinket. I have to admit, no idea what uh, this one is. Oh, it's those little guys again. So the modern backup seems to come from the deco layer, and it seems to be the same thing as what you get with the dive layer or the hideout if you prefer. So let's try the next one will be the penthouse. I haven't tried those, so I'm not sure what it'll be. Ooh, it's uh, some ladies. As we can see, they're using uh, dual pistols. Yeah, maybe I should use them more often. So 
So mostly they seem to attack uh, from a distance, although they do uh, they do attack from uh, from close up, as you can see. And once more we wait. So let's go for the next one. So the next one will be the sewer backup. It's a brand new layer that I purchased uh, not long ago. And as you can see, it's those little asthmat dudes. And they seem to be using uh, rifles. And they're gone. So only one left to try out. And let's go for the last one. So the last one is the tech backup. So let's get started. So it's amongst those uh, science dudes. And they're, so they're using uh, dual pistols. And that, <laughs> that poor target uh, went all the way. So again, you can see the, by the backup, uh, switching target, depending on which target I attack. And that's it for our little uh, scientist uh, backups. So again, just a little recap. So basically we saw that the ancient trinket gave us some uh, ancient stone statue. Uh, the bunker trinket gave us uh, a few soldiers. The cave trinket gave us some uh, Batman-like robots. The eastern trinket gave us some ninjas. It's actually another name, but if I say that name, uh, my video will get flagged. Uh, the gothic trinket gave us... Uh, I forget what it gave us. Anyway, you can watch the video again, you'll see. Uh, the hideout and the, the modern trinket, pretty much the same thing. It gave us those, uh, those grease-type uh, guys with those machine guns. Uh, the indus industrial trinket gives us uh, some robots, some pretty cool robots if you ask me. Uh, the penthouse trinket gave us some, uh, some ladies with dual pistols, the sewer trinket, some azmat guys with uh, rifles, and the tech trinket, some scientists with uh, dual, dual pistols also. As you can see, usually I use the uh, industrial backups, but I'm, I may decide to use uh, to alternate a bit more depending on, on the situation. Like you saw some of the backups go right away into uh, melee, and when they go into melee, that usually makes uh, the job of the tank a little harder, because the, the tank pretty much gets stuck in the middle of all those uh, those backups. So ideally for group, uh, I guess the, the backups that go into melee, if you're playing solo, not a big issue. If you're playing with a group, uh, if you, if you want to be uh, considerate for the tank, you may you may decide to use a backup that will actually attack with a range attack, but then again, uh, if you decide to go with a specific backup for the look of the backup, well then uh, not much you can do about the the weapon they're using. It's not like the the sidekick where you can actually choose the weapon. Here the weapon comes with the backup, so depending on which backup you choose, that's the weapon you have to use. And again, these were the backups that you can get with the various layers. But I did not cover the backups, like the Quardian backups that you can get from the uh, the anti-monetary event. Uh, there's the Joker backups and the Riddler backups that you can get from the Riddle with Crime DLC. And there is also the Man-Bat Commando backups 
that you can get also from the Riddle with Crime DLC, but you can only get those from the Elite version of the raid, if I'm not mistaken. So that, that's pretty much it for the backup, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And again, now you will have uh, a visual representation of what the backup looks like, but also how they behave uh, when, you, when you bring them into battle. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.